Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, I'm Amy and I create videos to help you along with your creative coloured pencil journey. Today I'm sharing with you my absolute favourite way to blend coloured pencils without needing any extra tools or expense. And that is blending using those white pencils. You know, those things that you might think are absolutely useless, especially when you try and layer white over black. Well. I'm going to show you how you can fulfill their pencil goodness and use them for blending. This is a technique which I use throughout each and every coloured pencil piece I create and I think that it's an absolute essential one. Let's start off with the different brands of white. My best friend when it comes to white pencils is the Caran d'Ache Luminance White. I love it, it gives me the best possible results and it's always the one that I recommend. I realised though that these luminance pencils may as well be made from gold as they are pretty pricey but there are some other spectacular white pencils that can be used as an alternative. There's the Faber-Castell Albrecht Dura which is a watercolour pencil and it has a fairly hard core. The Prismacolor White is a waxy soft core. The Polychromos White is another hard core oil based pencil. And then there's the Derwent Drawing Chinese White, which is another soft core pencil. I've had experience with each of these for blending and each does an outstanding job. I would, however, recommend the waxier, softer cores over the hard ones as they tend to blend a little bit more easily. So, you've got your white pencil of choice and I hear you screaming, but Amy, how do I blend with this madness? Well, there's a pretty simple technique and it goes a little like this. The essential part of any blending is having enough layers down on your surface beforehand. I like to have at least 8-9 to nine layers down before I go in and blend. And having this many layers will give you a really nice blend and start to smush all of the colours together instantly. Too few layers and you'll end up with an inconsistent grainy look. So layer up lightly first and then get to blending. When I blend with my white pencil, I use the same pressure and motion as I do with my usual coloured pencils. I use a light pressure, smooth, even strokes and I gradually build those layers. I don't go in with a heavy hand and really cram the pencil into all of those grooves. That's more burnishing than blending. Blending with a white pencil is a really gentle process and you want to treat your white pencil layers just as you would with any of your other coloured pencils. Don't discriminate against it just because you think it might be useless, guys. Once you've blended your first couple of layers, then it's time to build some more colour. And I like to go back over the area with the previous colour it used before going in with any darker colours, so I bring that colour saturation back. Layer and layer your slightly darker colours, keeping that light pressure, and then go back in with that white pencil and apply exactly the same technique as before. You want that light, even pressure, you want to build the layers like you would if you were using any other colour. As you build your layers, you should start to see the grain of your paper disappear. Now it's back to building your colours once more, and this is where I like to add the darker mid-tones and those final dark values. Again, layering up lightly before going in with a final blend of the white. And that's pretty much it. It's a really, really simple technique. A lot of people think that you need to go in and blend with a hard pressure, but you really don't. You just need to layer slowly and be patient. Coloured pencil is a fairly slow medium and patience really is key to mastering it. This technique works on all types of pencils. It's good for polychromos as I've shown here, which are one of the hardest cord pencils. But it's also good for the waxier, creamier pencils like those Prismacolors and the technique for these types of cores is exactly the same. Light layers and treating that white pencil like it's one of the others. I've demonstrated to you guys here using the Luminance White. As I said previously, it's my best buddy. But you get exactly the same results using the other brands which I showed at the beginning. The Prismacolor works absolute wonders and the Fragile Core and this technique actually go hand in hand really nicely. The Derwent Chinese White also yields wondrous results using exactly the same technique. Ooh, look at that soft blended goodness, guys. That's pretty much all that I have for you today, guys. If you want to follow along in real time, then there is a 40 minute video tutorial of this available to my patrons over on Patreon and to my website subscribers as well. I'll leave the links to both of those if you want to check them out and follow along down below. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button down there and if you are new around here and not yet subscribed, then why the hell not? Click that subscribe button and tick that little bell to be notified when my colour pencil videos go live. I upload new videos every single Friday and I live stream on Sundays too, which is always a hoot and definitely worthy of your subscription by itself. Anyway guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.